Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Surplus Nut with the second part of this gun review on the G20. And just to show you guys what I was letting talking about on the last part of the video, how I uh, filled up the uh, engravings on the guns where it says Glock 20 Austria 10 millimeter. Then on the other side, I did the serial number and even the small little Glock little emblem thing. It came out really nice. Okay. Just so you guys could see it. Subscribe to my channel. And you can even check these videos that I uploaded on how I did that. And going back to the actual uh, weapon. Um, pretty basic when you buy it. You know, especially this one. It just came, like I said before, with uh, on one side only with your mag release. Um, I will be uh, in doing upgrades, like uh, I'll probably start off by installing a uh, the the Ghost um, trigger connector with the spring and all that to bring it down from like six pounds that I think these come with, uh, bring it down to hopefully three and a half, three pounds. And I will be doing all that and I will be also uploading videos on how to do it. Also, I will be installing the uh, the mag, uh, the, I'm sorry, the slide catch, the uh, extended one. Just so it will be a little bit more comfortable when you um, rock the slide back and you want to release it. And also the, um, the uh, takedown. Um, little lever here in the front that they usually come really you know you guys know what I'm talking about that it's a little bit difficult to kind of like uh, do a breakdown to the gun and and that's you know there's a lot of things you can do to these so I'm gonna start off slow and just go from there and and but I'm most likely gonna probably do all the upgrades that are up out there um, you know to make it a really nice Glock and a very nice um, shooting handgun I'm probably also gonna do the porting like uh, on the slide and on the barrel um, probably get the, the barrel chromed and um, I, you know I'm, I have a lot of stuff in mind that I will do so these are things you can do once you purchase the weapon you know to um, but one of the main things I will probably do right away if you get one of these or any Glock is to get the uh, trigger connector just to make it you know the trigger a lot lighter and better uh, a, make it a better shooting handgun even though even though I noticed that this one does have a pretty light trigger or maybe you know I don't notice too much the six pounds on it but anyways um, comes with two mags 15 rounds of 40 this thing it's a very powerful cartridge okay 40 uh, not 40 10 millimeter I'm sorry I meant to say um, this is your regular uh, the bullet diameter it is a 40 caliber okay it's just that it's on a longer uh, case and that's the difference between the 40 and 40 Smith and Wesson and this one and is that this one um, the 40 is a, a neck down um, 10 millimeter meaning that the case is a lot shorter but it's the same diameter bullet, okay? And the 40 is just a little bit smaller than uh, a 45. But it's got massive um, penetration, this round, and pretty good velocity. Um, way more than um, the 45. And a lot of people use this uh, weapon to go hunting. You can go hunting um, uh, wild hogs or board whatever you want to call it um, deer um, bear I mean it's a great weapon to be out you know hiking around if you're in the wilderness if you're camping it's a tremendous uh, weapon uh, the mass it's got massive um, stopping power and um, it's it's good for self-defense I mean like I'm saying it'll bring down bear um, hogs deer I mean zombies you know what I mean whatever 
this thing is unreal one thing I do suggest with this is to have the proper ammo um, proper cartridge because if you get if you were to shoot this thing with like full metal jacket you're gonna probably run into uh, you know where it'll probably have over too much penetration and if you were to shoot someone it might just go right through them and you know go through a wall or hit someone else God forbid that you find yourself in a self-defense situation so it's better to get like the jacket hollow point and get um, a uh, bullet that for sure is going to expand to its maximum and um, release its complete um, stopping power inside and you know it won't probably go through because this round the 10 millimeter is extremely fast it flies very flat and it's the penetration on it and the feet per pound of penetration it's unreal with this weapon so right now um, like I'm saying you carrying this gun with 15 rounds of 10 millimeter and one in the chamber that gives you 16 rounds and that is extremely you know a lot of firepower and not just any firepower this is very very strong um, drop down stopping power ammunition right here the 10 so I mean I'm really happy with it I have not shot it yet I can't wait to go to the range um, I'll probably end up going even before I, I do the you know the trigger connector and all that um, besides that it just feels really good I mean there's no complaints I mean you guys know how old Glocks it's like I call them the uh, AK-47s of handguns and there's no problems with them feel really 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 nice there's no difference in size between this one and the 21 SF the 45 they're pretty much they're the same exact gun to be honest with you um, the only difference is obviously the barrel this is a 40 the other one is a 45 okay which is a lot um, you know bigger the uh, barrel on the 45 the one I have the 21 SF is the one with the Picatinny rail on the bottom really nice you guys can see my videos that I have on that one and I mean what can I say about this I mean this is my new toy I'm really happy with it can't wait to shoot it uh, I'm gonna start carrying this weapon on me I'm just waiting to get my the holster that I ordered for this again I'm gonna go with the uh, same holster that I purchased for my Glock 21 SF the uh, iTac defense uh, retention holster and also for the magazines the same two magazine holders you know the one that holds two but it's also from iTac I think it's the best holder uh, holster in the in the market right now as far as retention goes it's just like the Black Hawk Serpa holster that you have to squeeze right where your firing finger lands outside the holster and you have that little tr uh, bun that you squeeze it down and you can pull the weapon the reason I like that iTac defense is because it holds the gun in place it will not come off unless you squeeze that and inside the holster it does not there's no friction between your slide and that kylex or whatever they call it um, the plastic you know the, the the actual material of the holster so it's not gonna uh, scratch your slide or with time remove the the finish of your weapon so that's one of the reasons why I've been looking around a lot done a lot of research and I like that one a lot so I'm most for sure I'm gonna order the uh, magazine the one for the magazines that holds two and also the one for the weapon one of the things I want to tell you a little bit of history on this uh, handgun this um, 10 millimeter round was um, developed by Jeff Cooper and it was introduced in 1983 but it was actually selected um, by the FBI after the uh, Miami shootout that happened in 1986 maybe you know three years after 1983 when it was developed by Jeff Cooper there was a big shootout down here in Miami um, and then that's when the FBI decided to adopt this cartridge in, that happened in 1986 
So, but what happened was they felt that the uh, round was too powerful, had too much recoil for their officers, and eventually law enforcement, when it was going to end up, you know, being adopted by them, that it was too much recoil, too much power, and then they went ahead and that's how they ended up developing the uh, 40 Smith & Wesson, which is the same thing, just that it's a, uh, the same bullet diameter, it's just that it's on a sh lot shorter case, uh, case, and, um, but anyways, um, the 10 is still around, it's a uh, really, really good caliber, like I'm saying, it's, it's your ultimate caliber, to be honest with you, because you have, you know, tremendous amount of firepower, um, basically, I'm going to give you a little bit of rundowns on this, uh, the 45, and I picked for this the biggest uh, or the heaviest grain bullets, but a 45 caliber that shoots a 230 grain uh, bullet, it'll have 835 feet, uh, feet per second out of the muscle with 356 feet per, um, uh, feet per um, pounds, okay? Um, and then you're gonna have the uh, 45 uh, plus P. That one has a little bit more. It'll have 1,350 coming out of the muscle, and the energy that it's gonna uh, develop, it'll be 587 uh, uh, pounds of of, of um, uh, pressure. And um, if you go over to the a lighter bullet I'm just using a, a one that's much lighter than 230 grain on the 10 millimeter let's just pick the 175 grain you're gonna have to uh, 1290 um, at the muscle velocity okay compared to the 45 which only has 835 and the the um, the pressure and penetration that this round produces is 649 with a bullet that weighs 175 grain. So basically, this round is extremely powerful. You're talking about, uh, you know, Magnum, Magnum um, cartridge right here. I mean, on velocity and penetration, you're looking at, uh, you know, uh, like a Magnum. They consider this to be in between a 41 Magnum and the 44, uh, more powerful than the 45 ACP and the 357 Magnum. So this is like Magnum firepower for a pistol, and like I'm saying, I don't think you'll get 16 rounds of Magnum firepower out of a pistol. Yeah, you'll probably get it on a revolver, but you'll be having like six shots. You have to probably reload real quick. Um, this is extremely um a lot of firepower out of a pistol okay when we're talking about it you know it, it matches to uh, the magnum cartridges and um with 16 rounds i think you're gonna be in really really uh good shape um i bought it because of that i go out hunting sometimes i go out you know out to my property where i have like three acres a double white trailer in the middle of florida and it's a gun that when you carry it on you, I mean, it's good for protection, I mean, overall, in all areas. So, this is my Glock 20 SF. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the, uh, the little review on it. Leave me a comment if you need any question on it, or maybe I left something out. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna also get uh, some, you know, different like night sights or something for it. There's a lot of options you can do to this thing. So I hope you guys uh, like the video. Um, leave me any comments on it, and subscribe to my channel. This is Mr. Surplus Nut, okay, with the 20 SF, 10 millimeter, bear killer zombie killer ultimate weapon all right check you guys out later